Here's the situation. You've chosen from one of the thousands of keyboard sounds here in GarageBand iOS, but when you go and tap on the keys, they don't play straight away. There's a build up before they start playing the note. How do we fix this if we want it to start straight away? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. Let's go. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5-Minute Tip. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording, and releasing your best music in GarageBand, check out the links in the description. So the setting we're looking for here is the attack setting. Attack tells the instrument how quickly it should start playing the sound. So with a slow attack, if we turn this up, as soon as we tap on the keys... We're going to get that build up. However, if you want the keys to be sounding immediately, all we need to do is turn the attack all the way down to what we call the fastest attack setting. And now when we tap keys, we're good to go. Now, not all keyboard instruments will have an attack setting. In fact, your lead instruments usually don't because they, by default, have a very fast attack. However, even things like your traditional instruments under the other section here will have an attack. So if you're looking for an oboe that has a real ethereal sound and builds up, you can do that. Or if you want to play a melody, you can turn the attack down. So with your standard instruments, your attack is usually one of the options over here on the right. But what about your alchemy synth sounds? Well, if we choose alchemy synth, Let's jump in and grab one of my favorite pads, the analog sweep. And all we need to do here, because you'll notice we have a lot more options, but we don't have attack or release. But if we swipe to the side and keep swiping, the very far right, you'll always have your ADSR envelope settings, which is attack, decay, sustain, and release. And if you'd like to learn more about what the others mean, we'll be covering those in future videos or check the links in the description. So out of the box, if we play our chord with the attack setting in this mid range, it's pretty quick, but not instantaneous. If we want it to be quicker, we just turn the attack all the way down, and now... We're good to go. So there you have it. The attack setting here in your GarageBand instruments is what you want to look for when you're trying to ensure that when you hit a note, you hear the note straight away. I hope you found this one useful. More tips and tricks in the description, and I'll see you next time.